Hey all you Let's Play fans, Baltus MC, bringing you more. Super Mario RPG. So we rescued the King and Queen of Nimbus Land, and we're going to go ahead and explore around the castle and town, because now that we rescued everyone, there's a few things that we can do around here. Son, you're just like me when I was your age. I'm proud of you. If you have any problems, come straight back, okay? Yeah, I'll have to keep that in mind for later. Okay, we want to head down here. Because if you remember, I grabbed a star out of this chest the first time we came through here. Well, as you can see, it's reset and has a flower in it for us. Yeah, there's a couple chests around this castle that have reset and have new items in them. We'll have to make sure that we grab them. Also, any chest that I didn't grab the first time that I was coming through here, I can now grab without having to worry about uh, enemies around. So that's kind of nice. Also, you want to make sure you stop off and talk to this guy. The king gave me another job as a guard. Prince Malo. Thank you so much. We were able to rescue my father with the key you gave us. Don't mention it. Besides, it was you who actually rescued him. Good luck in the future. You too. Prince. Here, this is from me. Please take it. Alright, and he gives us a flower jar. Hey, you were holding out on us earlier. I could've used that. Okay, so now we'll just head back this way. And this used to be Birdo's room, if you remember that big egg was sitting here in the center. And I like that they have statues of everyone in here now. But it, as you can see, Mario is not the one that's in the center, it's actually Malo. Kinda like that little attention to detail, because this is Malo's kingdom, after all. It's like Mario doesn't always have to be the center of attention. Okay, we got another reset chest there that has a frog coin in it. Now, I don't know what would happen if you didn't grab that chest earlier. Um, because, as you see, that was one of the chests that were set, because I did grab a frog coin out of it before. So, I don't know what would happen in that case. I don't know if that would count against your, uh, hidden chest count or not. People have been visiting us from the world down under. Even Croco came by. What? Croco? That son of a bitch. I have to keep an eye out for him. But check this out. Ooh, I'm walking on air. Let's see what we got over here. Uh-oh. Busted. What to do, what to do. I'll give you this fertilizer if you let me go, okay? Alright, and he gives us fertilizer. So now, let's go ahead and check the menu. Now that we have both the seed and the fertilizer in our inventory, we can do something very important with that. But we'll have to keep that in mind for later. Let's go ahead and use this flower jar. Yay! Up to 87 flower points. Getting close to that 99 mark. Okay, we'll just make a stop off in here, and hey, there's Croco. Say, hey, we meet again. This here land is rich. It's got tons of loot, and I want it all. But hey, I'm not sweating. This device will tell me where the treasures are hidden. The rest of them are mine. All mine. Adios, fools. <sighs> all right, and the dumbass runs into the wall and actually drops his signal ring. If you equip it, it'll ring at the location of a hidden treasure. I'll go ahead and show that off uh, later on. If you remember in a previous episode, I mentioned that I missed out on a hidden chest and I couldn't figure out which one it was. Well, I finally figured it out. and I'll go ahead and use that chest um, to show off the signal ring. Croco passed by earlier. He was saying, mine, all mine. What was that all about? <laughs> well, couldn't you figure that out? Seems like you know Croco on a first name basis. Alright, let's go down here and talk to these guys now. Up ahead are the hot springs, but only royalty is allowed. Hey, you're the real prince. Sorry about the misunderstanding before. There was no way that fat bird could have been a prince, huh? Well, that's kind of insulting. No big deal. Anyway, you think you could let us through here? Of course. Go right ahead. Please enjoy yourselves. But be careful not to fall into the volcano. <laughs> fall into the volcano. Seems kind of like a bad place for the hot springs, then. Yeah, you can come in here and you can actually refill your health and flower points with this thing, so that's kind of nice. Danger! Beyond the cliffs is the volcano. Yeah, so if we actually jump off here, we'll end up at Barrel Volcano. We won't be doing that yet, though, in this video, because instead what we're going to do for this video is we're going to do some side quests. I know, kind of tedious, but we have to get them done. There's a shitload that I'm going to get out of the way in this episode. That way, in the next one, 
We'll just have to... We'll just go on with the storyline. Okay, what I want to do now... is I want to go ahead and put that uh, seed and fertilizer to use. So in order to do that, we'll come over here to Rosetown. Now, this wasn't here before, but after you complete the events of, I think it's Seaside, this area back here now opens up. They've got a house back here. Hi, I'm the gardener. See that huge planter? I've spent many years seeking the legendary seed and fertilizer to fill it with, but had no luck. Sigh, if only I could find them. Incredible, I can't believe it. It's the legendary seed I read about in the ancient gardening test. This is so rare, can you even be begin to comprehend it? Blah, 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 blah. I can't even finish all that. <laughs> hey, I haven't finished yet. Well, that's my story. Say, will you give me the seed? Ah, eh, sure, why the hell not. I finally have it. This is extraordinary. Hey guys, you know what you have there? That's the fertilizer that comes from the Shyway clan, famous for its miracle feats of gardening. I tried to look for it beyond the cliffs and failed. Ah, damn it! I almost had it. It was almost there. Short attention span. Yes, you might say I have fertilizer on the brain. Well, I definitely would say you have shit for brains. Will you give it to me? Yeah, why the hell not? I want to be carrying around a bag of shit with me. Oh, thank you. I finally have both the seed and the fertilizer. I'll try them out right away. I'll plant the seed. And give it fertilizer. Doesn't look like there's anything in the pot to me, though. Nothing's happening. Wow! This is amazing! This is unreal, this is like winning the lottery, only without the taxes. I mean, this is like falling out of an airplane without a parachute and hitting a gaggle geese in midair while breaking your fall. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> he just talks so goddamn fast. You think I could use a little more fertilizer? Oops, maybe not, huh? Well, it is going through the fucking house right now. I think it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and climb up it. Ooh, and we got a couple chests up here that have some very, very useful items in it. We got a lazy shell, and another lazy shell. Now, the difference between these two is one of them is a weapon, and the other is a very, very powerful piece of armor. Let's go ahead and put the lazy shell on uh, Mario here. Look at that! It's up 30 attack power. That thing is fucking crazy. I believe it is the best weapon in the game, too, for him. So yeah, that is really nice. And if we show off the lazy shell, this is usually good for the princess because of all the benefits it has. Yeah, it lowers attack and magic attack down, which does affect her uh, healing ability, so keep that in mind. But as you can see, it raises her defense and magic defense up to the point where she's nearly invincible. Almost anything that goes up against her, um, they won't be able to kill her. There's only like very few instances where she can actually die. So yeah, we'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, so back down we go. And we'll just get heading out of Rosetown now. There's nothing else that we can do here. I can't remember who you actually talked to. I believe it was somebody in Seaside that talks about uh, the gardener here in Rosetown. And that's how you're supposed to know. But I hardly ever talk to everybody. Okay, I want to head back here to Mushroom Kingdom. Because you remember there was that one kid that was playing on a game earlier. Let's go ahead and buy it to uh, buy it from him now that I have the coins. Wait, wait, wait! God damn it! All right, yes, I'm done here. You want this? It's only 500 coins. Well, why the hell not? Want me to teach you? Uh, why not? High score if you. That's a weird way of saying that. High score if you hit the shells with the stars fired from the beetle. If you get the hit. If you get hit, recover by firing consecutively. Just do it. And you speak in weird sentences. Select game on the menu, and you can play Beetle Mania. But please be sure not to cheat with a turbo-type controller. Fuck you, Toad, like I'll ever listen to you. Yeah, let's go ahead and check this out now. Oh god! <laughs> I like the Super Mario World background there. Oh god, I got hit with a shell. Yeah, pretty much if you get hit by a shell, uh, just keep rapidly pressing the button, and uh, that'll get you back up. If the counter gets to three and you don't get up, uh, 
then you uh, pretty much lose. Yeah, let's keep it going, see how much I can get. See if I can get over the high score, I doubt that. I don't want to sit here and shoot, like, 5,000 fucking shells. I'll try and survive as long as I can. Oh, God! And I don't know how many hits it is before uh, you can't get back up. But after a certain point, no matter how much you press uh, the button, you won't get back up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, it gets a little bit harder the more you get hit. Oh, come on, that one isn't, one isn't even near me. This is, would be kind of fun with a turbo controller. Because as you can see, the faster you press it, the more you, you shoot out. Ooh, I barely got up there. No! I don't want to lose. Ah, I lost. I got 1145. Not too bad. Oh god, no, I don't want to play again. <laughs> Let's just get hit by a shell then. There we go. It's like fucking buttons. There we go. Yeah, so that's a nice little distraction if you just want to take away from the main game. <laughs> okay, so now that we're done there, I'm going to head over this way, and I want to head to Booster's Tower. And there's a few things I want to show off in here, but I don't want to show off me climbing this damn thing again. So I will show you uh, what's important in here uh, as I get to it. So be right back. Alright, as you start climbing up the tower, you'll notice this guy over here in the corner. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hey, it's Knife Guy from earlier. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry about before. Here, I'll make it up to you. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? <laughs> okay, that was just practice. This time it's for real. You up to it? <laughs> well, this you sound kind of creepy, I don't know. <laughs> Guess which hand the yellow ball is in, if you can. Now watch caref carefully. Alright, so now what we want to do is we want to guess which hand he has it in. And when you win, he'll give you a shitty mushroom. Yeah, I hate this fucking part, because... This shit fills up your inventory really fast, and it's not useful at all. But if you do manage to win against him 12 times in a row, uh, he will give you something that is useful. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Alright, here we are. Whoa, congratulations! You deserve this. And he gives us the bright card. It'll let you get into my brother's casino, wherever that is. Well, I know where it is. I found it. But anyways, we'll check that out soon enough. But I want to go ahead and keep climbing up this tower, because there's a couple other things I want to show off. So I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are at the top of the tower. Now I'm going to go ahead and show off the signal ring, because, yeah, this is the room where I actually missed out on a hidden chest. So I just want to go ahead and go to the menu here. And it doesn't matter who you equip it on, but as you can see, we got the signal ring down there. So if anybody in your main party has this on, let's go ahead and leave the room and come back in. You'll hear that sound there if there's a hidden chest in the room. Yeah, the hidden chest is right there. It was a mushroom that I could have used earlier. But whatever, I now have it. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and put the safety badge back on you. And we want to head out here... Because there is something interesting out this way. Hey look, it's Valentina. What are you babbling about? Why should I marry you? What a wonderful thing to say! Looks like Booster's met his match. So eager to get married, but now he doesn't. He looks a little hesitant. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and meet you outside now. Okay, so now that we're back outside of Booster's tower, let's go ahead and check out that casino then. We'll head up here and over this way. 
Yeah, I don't think I showed that off in the menu, actually. Let's go ahead and look at it. Yeah, we got a member's card for the casino. And what's funny about this card is if you actually don't want to come to this casino anymore, you can actually sell it for, like, 777 coins at any uh, shop. But if you go to, I believe it's Marymore, there's an old man that's looking for uh, this card here. And he can actually sell it to him for up to 10 frog coins, which is kind of nice. And if, But if you ever want it back for any reason, you can buy it back from him for 15 frog coins. Which is kind of a fucking ripoff, because this place sucks. Please enjoy yourself. I do like the music in the background. Very retro, though. And hey, look! It's Great Guy! Hello, Mario! I run this casino. Feel free to enjoy yourself. I wonder what became of Booster's search for a bride. Well, you don't want to know. Business is so slow. Hey, Mario! Want to play Look the Other Way with me? Ready? And look the other... And we what we want to do here is hit either left or right on the control pad. Way! And he'll lift up a finger, and if you accidentally look in the way of his finger, then you lose the round. No, I don't want to try that again. Fuck you. You think you're so hot, but you're not. Now, what's really funny, though, is if you actually beat that uh, look, the other ga uh, look the Other Way game a hundred times, thankfully not in a row, just you just have to win it a hundred times, Great Guy here will actually give you a very useful item called the Star Egg. And what that is, is it's a reusable item that you can use in battle to cause a hundred damage to every enemy on the field. So that is kind of nice, but I don't think it's really worth the time, though. Let's go ahead and check out the other games in here. Welcome to the blackjack table. Play around with me, sir? Why, sure. Require instructions? No, man, I've been to fucking Reno. I know what I'm doing. I will first deal you... I'll first deal you two cards. Well, first card? What do we got here? A two? <laughs> My fucking sucks. Come on, give me something good. Eh, ten. So I'm at a 12 right now. Let's go ahead and draw. Another 2? You dicking with me? So I'm only at 14. I need to draw. Oh, of course, I fucking bust. Yeah, what sucks is if you lose, you lose a frog coin. If you win, you get a frog coin. So, I don't know, it's really, really risky. I mean, if it was coins, I wouldn't mind, but frog coins are really hard to come by. Welcome to the Great Guy Casino. Want to play the slot machines? Ah, eh, sure, why not? No, I don't require instructions. You know, take ten coins for this, and it's pretty much like the slots that we came across earlier, uh, out of random chess. Ah, damn it. Nah. The good thing is, he'll only take 10 coins from you, but if you win, he'll give you a frog coin. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, that's all you can do here at this casino. It's pretty lackluster. Yeah, I might go ahead and get rid of the bright card, since it is taking up an inventory slot. But I'll think about that for later. Okay, what I want to do next is head back here into Monster Town. Because if you remember, I talked to Jinx earlier. Well, I want to go ahead and take him on now. Accept his challenge. But before I do that, I want to make sure... Actually, let's go back here to the menu. I want to switch out for Gino. Because why the hell not? Go ahead and do that. And definitely make sure for uh, the princess that you have the lazy shell on. I don't know if you need the safety ring on as well. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it on for safety's sake. Well, since it is a safety ring. <laughs> now for Gino, it doesn't really matter about him. He's probably going to die <laughs> throughout the course of this. But the good news is, if you lose during any of these battles, there's going to be three in total. Um, it doesn't cause a game over, which is, uh, which is good, I guess. So let's go ahead and take on Jinx. You wish to challenge me? Yeah, bring it on, you little bastard. All right, let's see what you're capable of. Yeah, I'm probably a little overpowered for this uh, battle with this guy. That's better being overpowered than underpowered, though. The first time I met him, if I would have tried fighting him, he would have kicked my fucking ass. Ouch! That's yeah, a little damaging. Let's go ahead and start off with an ultra jump. See if I can get the timing on this right. 
I don't think I'm ever going to get those two items that you can get for doing uh, 30 and 100 jumps. Because I'm just not good at getting that timing right. Yeah, look at that, 268 damage. Yeah, let's go ahead and use Group Hug. Yeah, look at that. Now that she has the Lazy Shell on, her attack is really, really weak. Or, or her healing ability is really weak. That's what I meant to say! I actually caused enough damage to him, he will use Valor up. But that's not too concerning. As you see, as the battle goes on, you'll do less and less damage to him. It's not too concerning right now, though. Alright, with this attack, when he does the slam, that's when you when you want to hit the button and do a perfect guard. That took me for fucking ever to figure out. Phew, simply amazing. Alright, we took him down the first try. I guess I underestimated you. You packed quite a punch. But don't let it go to your head, because I have I let you have that round. Let's have a rematch. Now the good news is you actually don't need to heal up after fighting him because as you can see, I'm already healed up. So yeah, just go all out uh, with the fights with him. You have nothing to lose. No crying if you get hurt. Well, I ain't gonna be the one that gets hurt. Right, I like starting off by boosting Mario here. So yeah, not only is he a little bit stronger this time around, but he does have some new attacks like Quicksilver here. Now that one's also a little bit hard to do the timing on, but you have to wait until she's going back to her original position. Or when your character's going back to their original position, that's when you hit the A button. Ah, oh, doing good. I got a decent amount of jumps in there. And even though uh, Toad still doesn't do much damage, might as well just have her attack. And Gino. I'll just keep him going. I'm not going to worry about boosting him. Yeah, look at that. You get that timed right, he doesn't do anything to you. <laughs> 258. Damn, son! You get messed up. I think I finally figured out uh, the timing on Gino's attack there. Alright, he's using Valor up. He's getting a little bit weaker. Oh, come on, Mario. Alright, just keep on attacking. This fight really isn't that exciting, especially when you're at the, the level of power that I'm at for it. I should, probably should have came back and fought him a little bit earlier, uh, just to make it a little more dramatic. But eh, not gonna worry about that too much. When you get to the third phase of, of fighting him, that's when it gets really difficult. Phew, simply amazing. Still haven't had enough. It isn't often that I find that I have someone this competitive to spar with. All right, this match will be the one that counts, since I'm placing my reputation on the line. All right, let's go ahead and take him on. Watch closely, Jagger. You're about to see our sensei in action. Our sensei. I'm not sure how to say that. All right, now this time around is really worrying because he does have an attack that um, even though we have instant death protection on both uh, Mario and Peach or Toadstool, um, it can still kill us if we're not good with the timing. Because it is very, very powerful. Yeah, it's this attack here. Oh man, you see, even when I blocked it, <laughs> it still fucking hurt. But yeah, I'm not too worried about Gino. I will bring him back, just so he can be a punching bag. Yeah, the main reason I wanted to bring Gino is because he's a little bit stronger than, uh, Bowser is, so he will be able to help with the damage. Alright, that hurt, but not too bad. Let's go ahead and bring Gino back now. Oh, come back to me! <laughs> I don't know if I ever showed comeback, but if you get the timing right on it, um, it will bring him back to full health. So that is very, very useful. Yeah, literally Toadstool is the only one that can't die in this fight. I think even if she gets hit by that Bombs Away attack, it only does something like 2 damage. Right, I'm just gonna go ahead and use Ultra Jump, because why the hell not? Ha! 
<laughs> he missed. Uh, go ahead and use group hug, because Mario is a little bit low on health. You want to make sure everyone's at tip-top shape. Alright, he's going to go ahead and use Quicksilver again. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed the timing. Yeah, he's using Valor up again. He'll also use Vigor up um, when he takes a little more damage. So yeah, he will become a powerhouse here. Okay, just keep it up. Man, I don't know why I can't get that damn timing right. I'll go ahead and use just therapy on Mario. Ah, damn it, missed the timing. That still filled him up a full, though. Uh-oh, silver bullet. Yeah, if you uh, don't block that one, um, it'll instant kill you, but if you do block it, it'll either not cause any damage to you at all, or it'll take you down to 1 HP. So in either way, that <laughs> attack fucking sucks. Let's go ahead and keep up the Ultra Jump train. I think I might cause just as much damage, though, if I physically attack him at this point. I'll go ahead and do that the next time Marley gets a turn. Ooh, 98. Okay, let's go ahead and use Group Hug. And just keep attacking there, Gino. Uh oh, triple kick! Damn it, missed the timing on that. Yeah, I'm still not the master of doing the timing right. Okay, I'm not causing a whole lot of damage with uh, Mario's physical attack like I thought I would be. But we'll just go ahead and keep this up. There we go. Eh, you can't kill her. Ooh, 94. Actually, that's not too bad. It's the only thing I find really weird, and I think I mentioned it before, is that the damage is just so random sometimes. Alright, now he's using Vigor up. He's getting close to the end. I'm not really sure how much health he has, but I know his defense is just fucking insane. <laughs> One damage. I'd be so surprised if that did, it, did him in. Alright, Silver Bullet. Well, I blocked it, but it still took me down to 1 HP. Oh, come on, Mario. You're the one that's dealing the hurt here. Yeah, there we are. Alright, and we took him down. Whoa. You are the stronger champion, no doubt about it. My reputation was staked on this last fight, so I've lost the title of Sensei. From today, you are the Sensei of this dojo. Please take this belt, which only the highest ranking fighter in the dojo can wear. And for defeating him, we get the Jinx belt. We will rename the dojo Mario Style Dojo and incorporate your jump technique into the training. <laughs> I love the sound effects there. Jack and I will start our training immediately. 1,000 warm-up jumps. Ready? Begin. Mario Sensei, the new regime... Uh, regime? Regimen? Tra strength trainers? I don't know what the hell he's saying there. Master, share your wisdom with us. Yeah, so now we are done here. They're just gonna sit here and jump for eternity. But yeah, as you saw from that fight, we got the Jinx Belt, which is really damn powerful. It actually um, also protects against instant death attacks, so that's also another good thing about it. But as you can see, damn, it raises your attack and defense up. It does lower your magic defense down a little bit, but uh, the benefits that you get out of the Jinx Belt are much better than the, the cost of putting it on. Also, another little detail is, look, got an M out here instead of a J. That's kind of nice. Alright, I believe that's everything that I wanted to do. So let's head back this way, up to Nimbus Land. Oh, what the hell? I jumped right back on it? I'd never seen that happen before. Fucking game! 
All right. So now let's head down here into the spring. We'll refill our shit, and we're going to go ahead and take on Barrel Volcano in the next video. So stay tuned for more. Super Mario RPG!